Hey guys, it's Marcus here. If you can hear me okay, please type something in the box. Let me know. We've got a lot of good stuff that we want to cover with you guys today. Um, everything about, you know, how money making online works and how this stuff uh, really happens. Because I think a lot of times people look at making money online as this mysterious, crazy thing. Uh, when in actuality, you know, it's just some simple stuff that's happening behind the scenes that some people see and some people don't see. And the people that do see what's going on. Uh, are the ones that are able to make money. So before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and I'm going to fix my question screen here, get those organized by the uh, the time that you guys type them in, because sometimes I'll be doing this webinar. I'll be like, hey, this guy answered, asked this question, and it ends up being like an hour old, which isn't good. We want to answer the questions that, that pop up right away for us. So really cool stuff. All right, guys. So um, if you can, before we get started, uh, feel free to type in a couple of things. Number one, your name. Number two, where you are listening from. And uh, number three, if you could rate your internet marketing experience from like zero being you're new and you haven't made any money to 10 being I make a full-time living. Uh, so just put your name, where you're calling from, and uh, your internet marketing experience from zero to 10. Again, zero is is I've never done anything, haven't made any money. 10 is like I'm Bill Gates, right? So, uh, great. We've got a lot of people here. We've got Mark from Florida, Gary from Ohio, uh, Adrian from Atlanta, Anna from Cambridge. Um, we got uh, all kinds of people. Leonard from California. That's where I'm in uh, or where I'm at. Joe from Miami, Renee from Michigan, Scott from Ontario, uh, David from Honolulu. I envy you, not only because it's only three o'clock there, but because you're in Hawaii. Uh, we have uh, Brian from Fort Worth, Texas, Wendy from Florida, uh, Dolly from somewhere, uh, Patrick from uh, South Dakota, uh, Mary Elliott from Devon, England. We got uh, Neil from uh, South Carolina, Joanne from Knoxville, Jack from Dallas, lots of people here. So guys, you know, I really want to take this time, and I know this is said a lot on webinars, but I want to take this time to say that I appreciate you being here with me and spending this time with me. And my goal here is to give you more value than any other two-hour webinar. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a story. Okay, and I know you might say, oh, well, yeah, I've heard stories on webinars and everything. And most of the time, stories are used to sell, and they do work, and that's why people use them. But I want to use a story in kind of a different way. I want to use a story to kind of put you in the mindset of where I was when I started this whole internet marketing thing. Uh, because those that are new and, and, and don't know me, I've been doing internet marketing for about 12 years now. Um, I've been full-time the entire time. Uh, you know, you could always calculate how long I've been in internet marketing because it's about, about six months older than my daughter's age, and she's going to be about 11. So you can always look at that. And at the time when I started, it was, it was very different. You know, I, I really had to make it work, and a lot of people were telling me that they didn't believe this stuff works they don't believe that internet is a viable way to make money. And that was back in, in the year 1999 and 2000 when, you know, it was just starting and it's starting to get big and you had the dot-com crash. It, it wasn't like now where, I mean, last week where, uh, you know, you had Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday where billions of dollars were spent online just in a couple of days. I mean, you think about that. How many of you guys think of that? You're like, wow, I know that this internet thing works. I just don't know how to tap into it. And if you feel that way, if you say, you know, I know there's money out there, but I'm just not able to tap into it the way that I want to right now. Just type in tap into or or something like that that I that that will show me that hey, you're with me and you want to tap into that and you you understand that the money is there, but you just need a little bit of help getting to it. You need a little bit of help uh, understanding how it works. Right? Because a lot of times when you see this stuff, you'll you'll understand that you know in our marketplace, one little idea, one little tip, one little saying could be the difference between major success and not making anything. And to me, that's really crazy, right? It's crazy that you, that you look at that and you say, well, you know, that's the difference. The difference is just getting out there and understanding something that other people don't know or understanding something that you can tap into or understanding where people go. Because here's the deal. Right. I want everyone right now just to think for a minute, just kind of get out of the webinar mindset, get out of the learning mode and just just bear with me for one second and think. Regardless of what I do tomorrow on the Internet, 
the same amount of money is going to be made. Right? Think about that for a minute. No matter what you do, if you get distracted, if you don't do anything, if you're, you have no power, right? whatever it is, no matter what you do tomorrow online, the same amount of money is going to be made with or without you. Now, how many of you guys would rather wake up tomorrow and say, you know, I'd rather it would be with me. I'd rather be with me. I'd rather actually learn it. I'd rather actually be a part of these billions of dollars that's being spent online. I'd rather be a part of, of what's going on. Um, and if you feel that way, you're not alone. I'm with you. That's where I'm at as well. And we want to understand how these things work. So um, with that said, how many of you guys have built blogs? How many of you guys have done CPA marketing? Um, you know, again, rate your experience. Tell me where you're at and we'll go ahead and get started and get the show on the road because here's the deal, right? With the blog profit network, what I found out is that blogs are a great way to make money online and they work really well. Uh, obviously 12 years ago when I started with internet marketing, there were no blogs. I mean, blogs, they didn't exist. And my first reaction to blogs when I first started hearing about them in 2006 was, you know, I thought blogging was lame. And I thought to myself, why would I want to sit around and type a bunch of stuff and blog about what I ate and tweet about, you know, who I went out with or what concert I saw, right? I didn't want to do this stuff. And more importantly, I didn't want to sit around and write this blog to make like 23 cents a day in AdSense revenue or maybe get one ClickBank sale every month. How many of you guys feel that way? You're like, I put all this effort forth. I make all these sites, I do all this stuff, and I get like 20 cents, right? And it, I don't want 20 cents. <laughs> I can't live on 20 cents. I need something more. Or, or maybe you log into your ClickBank or your CPA account and you see like one sale or one download every month and you're just like, dude, why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? How many of you guys out there today have ever asked yourself, why am I doing this? What's the point? Why do I blog about what I blog about to get the results that I don't really care about? And that was the deal. Now, let's, let's backtrack a bit because I think this story is really going to resonate with you. And I want you to listen to what's said between the lines because that is where the big money is. Right, so let's backtrack. My name is Marcus. This is a picture of me here. All right, that's back when I was a little bit better looking. Right now, I'm kind of heavier than that. But at any rate, my name is Marcus, and the year was 2003. I had just moved from Los Angeles to Portland, Oregon. And at that time, you know, I was a 23 year old kid. I had one daughter and another daughter on the way. And I, I thought to myself, if we were going to make it, we needed a place less expensive and less crowded. And we just had our first daughter a little over a year ago, and we were expecting our second daughter in about six months. This is actually a picture of the house that we lived in Lakewood. Obviously, you could see the A there resembling the Google Maps A, right? And we had this stuff going on, and, and this is the house we lived. It was basically like two minutes from the slums and the ghetto, and helicopters went over every weekend. It was just crazy, not a good place. I mean, if you, if you made a wrong turn, you were in a place that you didn't want to be in. And at that time, my search engine ranking business was doing okay, right? We started doing search engine ranking and understanding how the internet worked. Not big search engine ranking, crazy stuff, but I'd find clients and I'd rank them for like a little word and they'd pay me some money and everything like that. And the first year of that, I, I did about $20,000 part-time, which isn't too bad. And the second year was $67,000. And we were on track in 2003 to break over 160 grand which was my big goal, right? I was like, if I can make $100,000 a year online, I have arrived, right? How many of you guys think that there's some number in your mind, whether it's 10,000, 100,000, or a million, that you're like, if I could get that, I've arrived. That's, that's, I'll feel good if I actually get that amount. And that's how I felt. And 160 grand per year wasn't too bad for a 20-year-old or 23-year-old kid who barely made it through high school and never really had a real job more than six months. And this is actually a picture of me uh, when my wife met me. What she saw in me, I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys can kind of help her out on that. But this is what I look like. I actually used to be a magician. And uh, I started my internet marketing and my marketing journey when I discovered that I can run an ad. Okay, And I ran this ad in the parenting magazine. As all the parents would get this magazine and be like, what's the best diapers? What's the best, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they get this magazine, and so I ran an ad. And I said, you know, Magic by Marcus, 
uh, magic balloons, comedy and fun, call Marcus. And that was my ad. And I get like four sales per month or four uh, gigs per month, as we would say, right? And we want to look at that and say, okay, well, how does that work? And I actually went and I changed my ad from magic balloons, comedy and fun to something else. And I changed it to make your child's party unforgettable. Your child is the star comedy magic show. Call Marcus. Just by changing the words, the ad price did not change. The size of the ad didn't change. Nothing changed other than words on paper. And as Gary Halbert used to say, he said, the most powerful force in the universe is words on paper. Now, with my SEO stuff, it did take some work, finding clients and ranking sites, everything like that. But I was able to stay home with my wife and kids, which I thought was pretty cool. I didn't have to go anywhere, didn't have to work, anything like that. And the key to ranking these sites was simple. And I want you guys to pay attention to this because in about 30 minutes, I'm going to show you a site that is based on the story you're going to learn. So for those that are serious about marketing, that are serious about learning this, listen to this story because as they say, the devil is in the details. And in 30 minutes, I'm going to reveal a site that made over $1 million. It's actually close to $2 million. Okay, and the site's going to blow you away. You're going to be like, seriously, that is the site that made you money? How does this work? Okay, so the key to ranking these sites was simple. Instead of focusing on the keywords that they wanted, right? Because people come to me, they say, Marcus, I want to rank number one for the word diet. And I'd be like, it's like $50,000 if I can get it which I can't. So I'm not even going to pay. I'm not even going to charge you for it. And they wanted mortgage or all these other super high com uh, competition words. So instead of that, I focused on finding super targeted stuff, right? And the idea was that so many people out there search for so much stuff online. Did you guys know that right now, while you sit there listening to this webinar, 680,000 people per minute search Google? Right, think about that for a second. 680,000 people every 60 seconds. And that, my friends, is where the money's at. So the idea for me was that so many people are searching this stuff, and it's different stuff. It could be anything, right? That there has to be tens of millions of profitable keywords out there, if not more. And to me, it seemed like the easiest way to profit was to sell these website ranking packages. Right? I'd go to this guy and be like, okay, you got the diet site. Let's get you ranked for this. Let's get some money. And you know, at that time, sure, I built my fair share of websites for other niches and affiliate programs, but they never really made all that much, and they never made that much money that quickly. Now, we're going to get into some cool stuff here. One fateful day, a few months later, after things started to take off, our second daughter was born and doing really well, Okay, which is awesome. Actually rented two apartments. We had this top of this apartment here, and then about 50 yards away, we had another little apartment that I called my office, right? It was really cool. I'd just walk over there, and they'd be like, hey, you come over here and watch your kid take the first steps, and I'd run back to the other one and then go back to work and everything like that. So it's pretty cool. And it was fun, and it was only about 50 yards from the main place. Plus, it had its own fridge, which was good. I like that. And the day started as normal. I was taking calls to sell my marketing packages. And I'll never forget a call that I got from a guy that I had just finished getting rankings for. He had a site teaching parrots to talk. He was like, hey, if you got this parrot and you want to learn to teach it how to talk, here's the site. And so he got these rankings and I went through and did my keyword research and everything like that. And after he ranked, he said that the traffic that he got from the rankings I got him actually converted better than the traffic he was paying for, right? So the free traffic I got him was better than the paid traffic he was paying for. And so naturally we got to talking about life and family and business. And in the middle of the conversation, he was telling me how much his parrot site was making. And I was like, dude, seriously, like this many people online want to learn how to make their parrot talk. I mean, even if you go there today and you look at the AdWords tool and you do like parrot talk, right? I mean, watch this. You still years later, if we refresh our Google, Right, years later, we actually have still people looking this stuff up. People are still looking this up, and hopefully, we can log in here. All right, cool. So, you know, it's live if I can't log in, right? So, we have all these people that are looking for uh, how to make your parrot talk and different things like that. And I would, I just want to show you that in real time today, almost 10 years after the day I met this guy and got him right. It's, we can see that people still look for this, right? We have Parrot Talk with 18,000 people
per month searching for it, right? So 18,000 people a month are searching for how do I make my parrot talk, which is very, very interesting to me. And so we got to talking about that and everything. And, and then in the middle of the conversation, he said, Marcus, if you could get these rankings in any niche using your keyword method, why are you dealing with customers, right? Why are you dealing with customers? And then he said something profound. He said, why don't you just find these words, rank some sites, and send people to affiliate offers? And that got me thinking, wow, what if I didn't have to deal with phone calls, customer support, billing, and all that stuff? What if I could just pick a bunch of crazy keywords, make little sites, and drive them to affiliate offers? How many of you guys would like that? If you'd like that, say little sites or little blogs or whatever. Say, Marcus, I'd like to make little blogs, not deal with customers, not deal with you know, any of this other stuff, just like get a check at the end of the month from the blogs that I made, right? Is that too much to ask that I'd like to do? I mean, that's all I want to do. And so it got me thinking, what if I didn't have to do this? What if I could just pick these words, right? And so that's exactly what I did. I mean, I'd done similar stuff like this before. I had a gas-powered scooter website. And that scooter website with one free traffic keyword, or actually there was like nine of them, but they got all kinds of traffic. With that one word, we got over $16,000 worth of scooter orders within its first month. But of course, I had to take the calls. I had to deal with the scooters. I had to get the drop shipper, everything like that, right? But it worked. It was like, hey, 16 grand a month. All right, I'll answer the phone a couple of times. Now, keep in mind that this was all before AdSense, CPA marketing, blogging, or any of the stuff that we now know was popular. So what happened was that week after he talked to me, I said, okay, I'm going to try this out. And I set up two different websites. They took a total of about two to three hours to set up completely. So I got them done that day before we went down to Southern California. Okay, my family's in Southern California. We were in Oregon and it was about a 10 hour drive. And why we did, decided to drive, I don't know. We were crazy people. So because we drove, we're like, okay, we're going to stay here like three days. All right, and the moral of the story here is that we basically went there and we headed out around nine o'clock at night. And because we were geniuses, we head out at night because we thought the kids would sleep. Now, here's a picture of the 2001 Dodge Caravan that we had. And this van was the first quote unquote new car that I purchased, which was actually like two years old. But that was my big claim to fame. And whoever decided that it was a good idea to make a four cylinder minivan, obviously never heard of these weird things called hills. Right. Because here's the deal. There was this big pass from Southern Oregon to Northern California. And when we hit it, the van would try to shift. And having four cylinders, obviously, it was trying to get every ounce of horsepower out of those poor little four cylinders. And it made this loud vroom sound. And it woke the kids up, woke the wife up. And now I had to drive with screaming kids. And just when they got back to sleep, it started to do it again, repeating over and over and over, making me crazy. So finally, looking like a crazy person with no sleep and no quiet, we arrived at my dad's house in Southern California. And while we were there that weekend, those little websites that I made did their thing, right? They just did their thing. I didn't have time to check on them. We didn't have Wi-Fi in our cars and on our phones and all this stuff. We just let them do their thing. And while I did that, while I was gone for those couple of days, those sites made over $1,200 in profit. Now, how many of you guys would be like, hey, check this out. I built these sites. They did their thing, and now I have $1,200 in cash and profit. And to me, that was a very, very big aha moment because I thought to myself, if I could just make money consistently off of something that I set up once, then I could make more and more different sites and create a killer passive income stream and have a more fun life. Right? How many of you guys want that? You're like, I'd like to create a killer passive income stream. I want money to be made when I'm not working. And I don't have to go to work every single day to get a paycheck. And this thought literally changed my life. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, what's this story have to do with anything? Can't you teach me about Facebook or whatever, or whatever marketing method? Well, you know what? That stuff's not really going to help you. What's going to help you is what you're about to learn today. And I know because I've been teaching people for a long time. Very, very, very important. So I went from thinking how do I get my next sale to how many sites can I manage and set up on autopilot so I can make money when I'm not working? Because here's the deal. How many of you guys would work today if you knew 
you can make $150. Like how many of you guys are like, I would work today online. I'd do whatever you told me to do online as long as it's within my ethics to make $150. How many of you guys would do that? Right? A lot of people are saying, yes, I would, I would, I would. Now, how many of you guys would work today if you knew you could make $3 a day every day? Just three bucks a day. Like today, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do some work. I'm going to focus on $3 a day every day. Right? The guy who made $3 a day every day is ahead of the guy who makes 150 bucks because at the end of the year, that's over $1,000 from one day's worth of work. You do it the next day, get another thousand. Do it the next day, and on and on and on you go. And this is the secret, right? Because everyone wants that fast, riches stuff. And that does exist. I've made a lot of money very fast. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but I'm saying you need to focus on what really works. So basically, after this, like a lot of you guys are thinking, I went like crazy. I said, here I go. I'm going to set up 300 different sites and weird niches like mortgages, printable games, smiley faces, whatever anything. And then it happened. As I was researching new niches for my simple sites and simple blog business, I came across a term about smiley faces. Okay, this is where we're going to get into the good stuff. So for those of you that are still around, you're going to love this. Okay, so I came across this term about smiley faces. And how many of you guys are like, smiley faces? Seriously, Marcus? Are, are you serious? Like, smiley faces? How do you make money with smiley faces? You got to have mortgages, you got to have this, you got to have that. It's got to be something about the economy. You can't make money with smiley faces. But here's the deal. And I I found out that all these people were searching for it. And for those skeptics out there, watch this. Smiley faces. Okay, and we'll go to smiley faces. And I'll show you that people actually do search for this still, like a million people a month search for it, right? If you add all these up. So a million people a month are searching for smiley faces. Now, how many of you guys are like, yeah, that's fine, Marcus, but How are you going to make money with it? How are you going to make money with these people searching for smiley faces? How does this work? Right? Very, very, very important. So I came across this term, and I asked myself this question. And this one question changed things forever. I asked myself, hey, Marcus, how can you get paid for this smiley face traffic that is so cheap and not competitive? Right? And look at it. Here we are today. Okay, we'll open a new tab, and we'll do smiley faces in Google, and there's no one bidding on it, right? And you got freesmileys.org, which probably has AdSense, which you could probably get for like three to five cents per click. Okay, so really cheap traffic. There's probably going to be an AdSense here. Yeah, there you go. There's an AdSense there, an AdSense there, uh, which means you can get this traffic totally, totally flipping dirt cheap. Here's AdSense here as well. It even tells you the keywords to bid on, right? So Google's telling you everything. So here's like a million people a month. And I was like, okay, what do I do with this? How do I get paid for this? Because there's no competition. Okay. And I wanted this traffic. And up until this point, the only way to make money that I knew of was to sell stuff on ClickBank or like sell a product or get people to fill out a big form or maybe AdSense because AdSense was new at the time. Now, that was until I heard of CPA marketing, which a lot of you guys have probably heard of using OfferVault and everything like that and affiliate networks. Now, to me, it was insane. I was like, dude, here's a smiley traffic. Here's a smiley download. I get paid to give away a free smiley download to people who want free smileys. And I went crazy. I set up a site about these simple smiley faces and I was getting paid 70 cents per download. So if you got a million people searching per month, right? A million people searching per month. How many of you guys think you could make money if you got 70 cents to give them a free download that has smiley faces? Like it's exactly what they want. They want smiley faces. You give them smiley faces. You get 70 cents. How many of you guys think you could make some money? Like at least a couple hundred bucks a month. All right? Okay. Everyone says yes. Now, let me, how many of you guys want to see something really cool? Right? Because this is live here. I can refresh this and you'll see that smiley faces does get this traffic now. But let me show you something even better. Okay. If we go to Offer Vault and we do uh, smiley, I think it's under Smiley or Emoticon, so I might have to try twice. Bear with me. Okay, so we'll do Smiley. So I was, keep in mind, I was getting 70 cents. My first site, I was making $70,000 a year giving away these smiley faces. Now, now let's try Emoticons. Okay. 
Okay, so Moshicons, I believe it's under, it's like three bucks per download now. It's crazy. Um, okay, bring me sports, my fun cards. It's something under here. And these are all downloads, by the way. Check out how much they pay. A lot of money there. Okay. Um, emotion cons, something like that. It's under emotion cons. And I think it's like two seventy five, maybe $3, three dollars, three twenty five per per download. So I was getting paid seventy cents. I was making a fortune, and now you can get paid a lot more and make even more. Right? Very, 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 very important. I'll find it for you towards the end of the webinar. Um, I just have to remember what it is called. Smiley Central. Yeah, let's see if it's under there. Thank you for that, Sean. Uh, Smiley Central. I believe that that's what it's called. Someone else is searching for Smiley too. Unless that's me, it might be me. All right, oh, there we go. So Smiley Creator, you got a buck 20 a lead, stuff like that. So again, we'll find it towards the end. I know there is one that pays like three bucks or whatnot. Okay, so there's a deal. I was making 70 cents and I was making a fortune. It was great. And it's all because I asked myself, what do I do with this traffic, right? How many of you guys have actually sat down and said, what do I do with this traffic rather than how do I find cheap traffic for the niche that I'm trying to promote, right? How many of you guys go about it backwards and you you try to find the niche or you've tried to find that offer first rather than finding the niche? So that's a deal. And at the time, it seemed like a lot of money to me. Um, but now you can get it for like $2 to three fifty dollars per download. And the kicker is that it costs nothing to the user. No one had to get a credit card out. No one had to put their name and email. No one had to do anything. They didn't even have to buy anything, and I got paid. So on with the Smiley site. The site went on to do over $70,000 in the last few months of 2003. I think it was August to uh, December 31st, obviously. And it did even more in the year 2004. Now, i got to be honest with you. It felt kind of weird talking about that site with my family and thinking about that site because it felt like I wasn't working. I set up this site, took me a couple hours, and the site just made money no matter what. I mean, I woke up and I was like, here's this money. And I remember telling my dad about it, and I literally felt like I was cheating the system, which wasn't really true. I mean, I actually built something that helped people and gave them smiley faces and whatever. And you know, my dad always taught me to be an entrepreneur and work hard, but this literally felt like cheating. I was making $150 to $200 a day in profit from a site that I made almost a year earlier. And I remember thinking, this, this can't be real, right? Like seriously, I'm getting paid to do nothing? I built the site a year ago and it's making me money. Now guess what guys, it actually got worse. In late 2004, I stumbled across another little niche. This was the MySpace layouts and backgrounds niche, right? And I, I remember thinking again, what the heck can I do? Here's all these people searching for stuff. Now, how many of you guys are seeing a theme here? Right? How many of you guys see the theme of, here's these people searching, what do I do? Here's these people searching, what do I do? Rather than, here's this offer, how do I find people searching? Right? I do it backwards from everyone else. I actually go in and say, what do people search for? And I thought to myself, here's the deal. What the heck can I do to profit with this niche? It wasn't a buyer-oriented niche, and no one really knew how to directly profit from this niche at the time. There was nothing out there. But to me, I thought, with all this traffic, I got to find a way to profit because there's all these people searching. And I know that even though people who watch football games every Sunday, they're not really looking to buy stuff. Yeah, they, a couple of them might get a Bud Light, right? Um, and, but there's millions of dollars being spent on advertising. So why do these people spend millions of dollars advertising on the football game? And they don't know what these people want. All they know is they're watching a football game. They don't really know what they want. But yet on the internet, there's people, I could find someone who's looking for something directly, right? 680,000 people a minute. I can find them looking for something directly. I can give them that and make money. So I thought to myself, I got to find a way to profit. And I went and I set up another little site and I directed them to these little mouse cursors. Like you see how I have like this little arrow here. Um, I mouse cursors would change it into a baseball or a little fairy dust thing or whatever they wanted, right? And I got paid $1.85 to give these away, right? So they download it, I get a buck eighty-five. How many of you guys think if you got $1.85 every time someone downloaded a cursor for free that they wanted anyway, you could make money, All right? How many of you guys are like, yeah, yeah, I think I could probably make at least $1.85, right? At least, because there's so many people that are searching their stuff 
and there's so much money out there. And these companies are literally like half a billion dollar companies. It's owned by like ask.com and all lots of other companies. Okay. So I thought to myself, what do I do with this? Right. And again, it costs nothing. They loved it. And they used a background toolbar and everything else so they could get background images and different things that would help them. And again, within days of setting the site up, I started making $300 a day in profit. I mean, think about that. How would you feel? And you could type it in the box if you want to be fancy. How would you feel if you just set up a site and you were like, yeah, I hope this works. And a day later or two days later, you started making $300 a day. That's over a hundred grand a year. You set up a site and it's like, bam, holy cow, I'm making this money. How many of you guys would be like, wow, that's kind of unreal. That's weird, right? Like Justin says, you'd be crying in happiness. Uh, Alan says, it'd be like he died and went to heaven, right? And I want you guys to realize that this stuff is out there, right? We live in a time that's different from a lot of other times where you had to work and you had to do all this stuff, right? We live in an economy now where if you know one little thing, if you do one little thing, if you help one little problem, but over and over, you make a lot of money. So here's the deal. I kept making these sites. I kept ranking them and I kept getting money. And it sounds cool, right? Everyone's like, I want to do that. That's awesome. That's great, Marcus. Woo, that's awesome. And we were up to about $1,700 a day in profit. I was just cruising. I was like, yeah, whatever. Don't have to work today. I'll go, you know, play and hang out with the kids and drive around in their little, you know, go-kart or whatever. And we just had fun all day. And I bought my first house. We moved back to Northern California, which obviously you guys know houses are not cheap here. And everything all of a sudden crashed. So imagine, you're like, yeah, whoa, dude, I'm making a 300 bucks a day, 1700 bucks a day. Everything is great. I just bought my house. Poof, everything gone overnight. Everything was gone. And I believe that we learn more in the bad stuff than we do the good stuff. We learn more in our failures than we do in our successes, right? And I know you guys agree with that because if you look through your life, it's probably the same kind of deal. And for some reason, what happened was Google decided to be a pain in the ass, which is pretty normal for them, right? And uh, here's the first house that I bought, right? This is my first house in Northern California. We bought it for 484 grand. And now on a good day, it's worth about 265 grand. So even internet marketing gurus, quote unquote, are affected by the recession. So I went from making $1,700 a day down to like 200 bucks a day. And I was flipping out. And what happened was some web marketer guru guy used my ranking method, built a software around it. And because they started spamming the search engines, Google just kicked us all out. And that was it. And it's because it was based on uh, the algorithm I was using. Google just kicked everyone out and they were like, whatever. Now, in hindsight, I should have made some more quality sites. I should have focused on the user more, all that stuff, which is pretty much what I do now. So I learned from that mistake, as you guys should learn from yours. And I decided now, okay, what if I buy traffic? What if I start buying traffic on Google, MSN, Yahoo, and all the other guys? So I started with a simple little mortgage site, and I'm sitting there. I'm in my living room, and I'm literally like in tears because my income went from $1,700 a day to 200 bucks a day, right? And I'm like, what do I do? Holy cow, what am I going to do? And I, I remembered that time with my magic stuff, and I said, wow, if, if those words on paper – just words, right? Like someone could have told me, change your word to this. And it's a difference between like 30 shows a month and six shows a month, which for me was the difference between like, you know, uh, 600 bucks a month and, and $3,000 a month at that time, which was a big difference. But nothing changed. It was just words on paper. And so I started with this little mortgage site and I just then put this up and I was up to like 300 bucks a day uh, in profit off that one. And I put my MySpace site back online with paid traffic. And I realized that paid traffic was actually easier because I could control it, right? And it was faster because I didn't have to worry about waiting on Google. And I remember one day after starting the site, reaching 1200 2500 even $4,700 in revenue each day. It was insane. I remember waking up. It was now summertime. It was around 9.30 in the morning, and I woke up. I'm like, okay, get coffee, check the internet. That's my pattern still today, right? And I get my coffee, I check the internet. And I was at $900 in profit at 9 a.m. in the morning. I mean, how many of you guys, if you woke up 
right? And you say, what do we do with this? What do we do with this? I got $900 in profit and I really don't even have to work the rest of the day. Right? What do we do with this? Very, 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 very important. And it was, it was crazy. And then I go swim in the pool and I'd have fun and I'd check my stats, make some dinner and relax all day. Now, we even took a trip to Hawaii and I couldn't spend as much as we were making. We lived it up, expensive dinners, boat trips, you name it, everything. And I still came back with more money than the trip cost us. In 2009, we bought this house here in uh, Northern California. And it was actually less money than the first one because the timing was good, right? And now, here's where the story starts to take a turn. It was early 2006. I was on track to make my first million dollar year with affiliate marketing. How many of you guys would feel good if you had a million dollar year in affiliate marketing? Right, a million dollars. You're like, okay, I'm going to make a million bucks this year with simple sites. I don't even answer the phone. I just got these sites. And as always, I like to stay on top of the new stuff. I'm like, okay, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Although I'm kind of behind the times. Like, I'm still not totally sold on Twitter. I think it's a waste of time. But at any rate, some people like it, right? And uh, I try to stay on top of the new stuff. And that year, it was all about blogs. Blog this, blog that, blog, blog, freaking blog. And getting tired of all the hype, I decided to look into this. And I said, can someone really actually really seriously make money blogging? And more importantly, more importantly, do I have to write every day like those lame people on Twitter and Facebook who tweet every time they leave their house or go to the bathroom? Like, I don't want to be that guy who's like, I just took a sip of water, tweet, tweet, or welcome to Facebook. I just, you know, whatever. I didn't want to be that kind of person. Because being used to setting up simple little websites and making five, 10, 50, 100, or even $1,000 a day each, the last thing I wanted to do is, was set up some huge content site. I could, couldn't I just like set up a blog, like my simple sites? Those simple sites took me like 45 minutes to an hour to make, and they raked it in big time, sometimes the day that I put them up. So there I was. I was listening to countless videos, teleseminars, and webinars. Yeah, we had teleseminars back then. And reading the ebooks and buying the courses, serious overload, information, craziness, everything. I was done. I felt so tired of trying to get my hand around or my head around this blog stuff that it made me nauseous. And I gave up right then and there and I threw in the towel. And I said to myself, I don't need a dang blog. I was on track to single handedly make a million dollars with no blogs, no employees, no outsourcing. Just some little sites that may look like a fifth grader made them. Then 2007 came. Hmm. Still don't need a blog. I did like 750 grand that year. I got a handle. Don't worry about it. 2008. Hmm. Some of my sites were getting quality scored, slapped, all that other nonsense. Still decent income. We were in the mid six figures. Perhaps I'll revisit this blog thing and see if Google likes them. But whatever. I'm still making money. 2009 came around, and I, the uh, year that I made my or bought my first my big house, and I said, "What the heck is going on? Where are my sites? My AdWords account was banned for life. How many of you guys have had that happen? Google's like, "Don't contact us ever again. Slap yourself in the face. It'll hurt worse than what you're about to read." Right? And you're like, "Oh man, Google banned me. Google doesn't like me. Whatever." But still, I made 250 grand that year. I was like, okay, that's not bad, but it wasn't what I was used to. And ringing in my ears the summer of 2009 again was blog, blog, blog. You got to get into these blogs. That's what all the big guys are doing. You better get into it. But I was going to do blogs on my terms. No posting daily, no lame stuff. I don't really want to be the next Perez Hilton or I don't want legal crap like fail blog. I just want to earn a decent income from home. Was that too much to ask? How many of you guys think it's too much to ask that you can earn an income from home? You're like, dude, I just want a little piece of the pie. I ain't greedy. I just want something. Right? I just want to be able to do what I do. So late that year, I discovered the WordPress blogging platform and was able to set up my first blog in about 15 minutes. It wasn't fancy. It wasn't beautiful, but I did it, and I was proud. Little did I know, the next day, the darn thing ranked at the top of Google in like 12 hours. Now, how many of you guys are like, yeah, Marcus, but that was 2009. Today, things are different at the Google. 
And you can't do that. How many of you guys think that? Be honest with me. Say, Mark, it's, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think this will work. And MT thinks this is a recording, but MTP, it's not a recording. I'm sorry. This is live. This is real good stuff here. All right. So we look at that and check this out, right? We'll go here and we're going to look at that first blog that I set up, which was hospital scam, which makes money. It still makes money and it's still ranked one, two, and three on Google, right? right? One, two, three. And Alan says he doesn't think he can do it today, but here we are. Now, let me show you something cool. So a lot of people are like, Marcus, you can't do that today. You cannot. It does not work. Google has changed. Look at the page. I haven't even changed it. It still says this is an example of a WordPress page. You can edit this to put information about yourself or your website so readers know where you're coming from. It's still the regular WordPress page. Why does this work? Why does this work? And Sean says, I made about 50 of these in the summer, and a recent update killed all but two of them. But ones I made ages ago, any idea why? Yes. It's all about the keyword. Right? Let me ask you guys, how hard is it to rank for number 10? Like, if you want to rank top 10 for a word that only has nine people competing for it, how hard is it to rank top 10? All you have to do is have a site. Right? If you have a site, you are in the top 10 if there's only nine people competing. And that's, my friends, is what we want to do. Very important. We're going to get into that in a minute. So like that year, I discovered it. I built the blog. And little did I know, it ranked in like 12 hours. It's still ranking today, almost four years later. No meta tags, right? I didn't do any meta tags or any fancy backlinking or anything. I backlinked one site. Okay, how many of you guys heard of backlinking? If you're like, I think backlinking is the key, type backlinking in the box, right? Let me know. Okay, cool. So backlinking, right? You look at backlinking. I backlinked one site. It was a different site that I made about Facebook layouts. And that was the only one I backlinked and it got banned. Every other site that I made, I did not backlink and it ranked. I did no backlinking for this site and it ranks. Nothing. I didn't even submit it. I didn't do anything. Why? Because it's based on the keyword stuff I'm about to show you. So no meta, meta tags, submitting, director listings, whatever. Google actually liked these blogs. So I tried to get some new pay to traffic accounts and everything. And I, I said, if I could get paid traffic to these blogs, I'm in like Flynn. I could get my income back. Very, very, very important. So now, instead, uh, and they work like crazy. Some of them got leads and made money almost instantly. And we're going to show you some of them. So how many of you guys want to see like live sites that make money right now that have made money this year? Not like back in the old days with the freaking Westerners walked on the boots and had cowboys and all that crap. You want stuff that works today. You're like, Marcus, show me something that works today. Show me something that works now. All right, and let's go for it. So here's the deal. Instead of the old one to two hour site set up with codes and pages and saving stuff and all that junk, I could actually bang out a site in like 12 minutes. How many of you guys, if you made a site in 12 minutes, got ranked and made money that day, would be like, uh, dude, um, I think Google's on crack, but I'm not going to tell them because I'm actually making money. Or I think this is working, but I don't know why. And this is kind of crazy, right? crazy but there was one little hiccup building sites gave me the freedom to do and have my sites the way that i wanted wherever i wanted i, I could have whatever i wanted wherever i wanted because that's the key right you look at the myspace site how many of you guys want to see a million dollar site right now it's a million or, or site or say just show me the damn site right here whatever here's a million dollar site okay this site has made close to two million dollars for me Okay. Does everyone see that? That's a million dollar site. How many of you guys are like, Marcus, you're full of crap. That's not a million dollar site. There's just a bunch of pictures on it. That's not a million dollar site. Are you kidding me? Million dollar sites have to have content and shoes and stuff, right? And this is, my friends, a million dollar website. And guess what I sold? Nothing. I didn't sell anything. 
Nothing at all. People clicked this stuff and all these things, all these links went to the same thing. And this was the site. There's a million dollar site right there. All right now, how many of you guys are thinking, dude, if I could just like do a hundredth of, of, of what that does, I'd be pretty happy because right now I'd just like to do something. Right? I'd just like to do something. Very, 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 very important. So that's the deal, right? We had the stuff and I built these sites and the key was to have them the way they want. And, and to make a blog look like this was like impossible. I was like, dude, blogging sucks because I can't make it look like this. All right. So that's the deal. Yeah. Um, there was one little hiccup. Building sites gave me the freedom to have whatever I wanted, wherever I wanted. The key to making this affiliate marketing thing work that no one talks about. Everyone talks about traffic and Facebook and this and that and the right offers and the right keywords and cheap traffic and all this. But none of that matters because the key to making it work is in conversions. If your blog doesn't convert the visitors, you're dead in the water. And in the website world, I was good at getting conversion. I was one of the best using weird little obscure markets like MySpace layouts or printable coloring pages or guitar tabs or whatever. The niches that most other marketers don't touch. How many of you guys before this webinar, you thought that you had to find a way to get cheap traffic for like weight loss or mortgage or something like big and fancy and something you had to sell stuff in, right? And that is, my friends, a big fat lie. It's a big lie because most of my money has been made in like these weird niches, which there's tons of them, which is why I don't mind sharing this stuff with you. And these other marketers don't touch these niches because they're not quote unquote buyer markets, right? Blah. Those were my biggest money makers hands down. I was like, okay, my space layouts or whatever. And it made money. So the question was, how can I make my blogs do exactly what I want when I want? Now here were some of the top converting things that I had on my sites. For those taking notes, pay attention. Because these little tools are crucial to the success of my sites. They offer interactivity. Make people click, make people buy stuff, download stuff, fill up forms, and all the other stuff that puts money in our pockets as affiliate marketers. How many of you guys have built a site and not enough people click through to the offer? Right? And like Tim says, he says a lie, but I believed in that. You tell me it's a lie. Yes, it is a lie. You can make money with any keyword as long as you focus on it. Right? So here's the deal. How many of you guys feel like most people are leaving your site? And you can't get the people to stay. You can't get them to go to the offer. Right? How many people, if you could get 95% of everyone who comes to your site to go to the affiliate offer, you think you could make money? That means you get 100 clicks, 95 go to the offer. Of course you could. It's like, dude, 95% are going to the offer. That's most of the people who come to my site. But most people don't know how to do this. And this is why you struggle with internet marketing, right? Because these are important. They make people click, they make people buy stuff, download stuff, fill up forms, all the stuff that puts money in our pockets as affiliate marketing. So late in 2010, after blogging for about a year, I decided to look into the outsourcing thing. And my goal was to find someone who could make these little tools that made sites, right? Like made my sites do this stuff, okay? And I decided to make them and I had to get someone that I actually hired myself because I wanted it to be exactly how I wanted because I knew that was what made money. But I didn't want people to have to go through the codes and the hassle and all the other stuff. I wanted it totally hands off, plug it in, check a box, you're done. Like this one, this is a gas site that made close to $100,000 and all it was was a zip code box. Like how many people think it's weird for me to ask for a zip code if you want to find cheap gas in your city. Like how many of you guys are like, that's weird. You're crazy. You should ask for our phone number. No, of course it's not weird. You want gas in your area, I gotta have your zip code, right? All right, so we, we created tools like this one above that made it over $100,000. We made a dropdown box that I recently tested March, 2012 when this slide was made. It's actually still working today. You can see here on Never Blue. Um, I believe it is, let's see, the Lotto one. Yeah, right here, um, 2,400 bucks, right? You can see we've made a lot of money with other stuff there. I think it's like 
800 grand or something like that, right? Um, and we have that. We have the drop down box right here. Like, how many people think it's weird to like click a drop down and be like, I want the lottery numbers for Tuesday rather than Wednesday, right? Whenever my ticket says, right? So we made stuff like that. Um, this lotto site made over 1300 bucks in just a few days. And it was important that these plugins be made by me, not some auto generated get you banned from Google stuff. I'm not into that. I don't like auto blogging, I don't like all the junk. I like stuff that really, really works and focuses on the user. And this needed to be based on real world stuff in real niches, not like make money online niches. It needed to be real stuff that didn't have anything to do with ClickBank or AdWords or anything like that. Real stuff that would work for niches like hospital scam and Facebook layouts and downloadable Bible quotes. How many of you guys are like, Marcus, if I can make money with downloadable Bible quotes, I think you're speaking my language because I don't have to sell anything. But if I could do that, yeah. How many of you guys type Bible in the box if you're like, dude, seriously? You can make money with download above, uh, uh, where do I sign up? Right, type Bible. I want everyone to type it in the box if you're like, dude, Marcus, if you could show me that you can make money with the word Bible, I'm in like Flynn. I will type Bible in the box. I will buy whatever you have to buy because no one ever teaches you this stuff. All right, so check this out. I'm, I'm going to show you the site. Here we go. Check it out. Read the Bible. Dot me. Here it is. You can go look it up later. You write it down and snoop my site. I don't care. Here it is. A simple site. I actually had someone write this content. I want to make a video because I want better conversions, but I've been too damn lazy for the last month to actually make a video, so I didn't do it yet. And here we are. This site. How many of you guys would be impressed if I made five dollars on this site a day? Maybe you're like, yeah, five bucks a day with a stupid little Bible site. Well, yeah, that's kind of cool. Take five bucks if you'd be. Okay, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of cool. Right? How many of you guys would be happy if I made 10 bucks a day on it? Right, or 20 bucks a day or whatever. Check it out. Here we are live. Here is my Max Bounty account. We're just going to hit run report. Last time I checked it before the webinar, which it usually tapers off towards this time of the day. And guys, I set this up in 12 minutes. I haven't done anything since then. Okay. And we'll hit run and report. We probably made another. Ah, eh, we didn't get another one. So we got almost $30 on that site. All right, so how many of you guys would be like, dude, I'll set up a stupid little, I'm not that the Bible is stupid, but the site is stupid, right? The Bible's a good thing. But how many of you guys would set up a simple little Bible site to make $30 a day in revenue? And that's like a grand a month. How many of you guys have not yet made $1,000 a month online? You're like, I would like to make $1,000 a month online. If you have not, say, not right of course you would do this not and a lot of people are saying not now how many of you guys that are saying not are like what's the catch is it that easy i mean do you really really go for like the word bible and then these people click this stuff and you made money and i want to tell you guys there is no catch the catch is learning how to convert visitors. Watch this. Watch this. Someone uh, tell me your favorite book of the Bible. Just tell me your favorite book. First person wins. Okay, we got Joseph. He says Romans. Okay, we're going to do Romans. We're going to search Romans here. Watch this. Okay, we might go to uh, Psalms. Okay. And, okay, Romans clothing. Romans 1. Okay, let's go to Psalms because Romans it gets a lot of other stuff too. The Psalms is a little bit more direct. All right, so check this out. 23rd Psalm. All right, the 23rd Psalm. A lot of people are looking up 23rd Psalm. There's like 27,000 people a month. How many of you guys think this is a pretty competitive term? Right, 23rd Psalm. And let's, let's go to Google and take a look at the competition. And there's no one bidding on it. No one at all. There's no one bidding. You could be right here on Google in about five minutes for this term. Now, you're like, Marcus, yeah, but this, how do you get paid for that? People looking up 23rd Psalm don't really want to buy stuff. Check it out, guys. I get paid. I think it's uh, $3.75 or whatever every time someone downloads a free Bible. Right? Every time someone downloads... They they're looking for the Bible. I'm like, hey, guys, I got a free Bible. 
Would you like the free Bible? Oh, yes, I would. I'm looking for the Bible. Download it. Thank you. I just got $3.75. How many of you guys think that that's like way crazy hard to do? You can't do it. That's it. Yeah. The internet marketing's too hard. Let's all pack up and go. Or how many of you guys are like, dude, seriously? Like, that's it? That's what I've been like having a hard time doing? Seems pretty easy. Very, very, very important. All right. Robert said, Max Bounty and Never Blue turned me down. How do you get in? I'll show you that. All right. So let's go ahead and, and go there. I just got to check this and make sure we don't get any more clippings while we're on here. Because sometimes we do. All right. So that's the deal, right? And it was important that this stuff be made by me because you look at it and those Bible sites, right? There's a reason this stuff works, right? Because they're like, oh, choose your reading plan. I want to read the Bible in six months. Bam. To the offer. Done deal. Super easy. Right, it works, and all this stuff is built the way that I want. And getting people to do this stuff was my specialty, like the MySpace site. There's a reason it was designed this way, right? There's a reason it was designed this way because it works. 150% of the people who came to the site clicked to go to the offer. That means everyone clicked 1.5 times. Crazy, crazy. Now, everyone who joins today, I guarantee you will get accepted to a CPA network. I will help you do that. And I'll show you how to do it. So if you're struggling with that, get that out of your mind because don't let that stop you from making money, right? Very important. So here was the deal. I looked at it and I was like, okay, this is my specialty. I know how to convert traffic. Why fight it? So it was go time. It was time to ramp up the profits. I went like crazy and I used blogs for everything. I made blog membership sites where people paid like 1200 bucks or more for access. I made some that were only a few bucks a month. I made little blogs for little niches and bigger blogs for niche, big niches. And now I sound like Dr. Seuss. And they all made money. It was awesome. You could build sites fast. You could get by with no coding, HTML, or any crazy tech stuff. You could be a complete beginner and make this work. They all made money. And you could just build them so fast. And now here we are in 2012, the end of 2012. My blogs are rocking and rolling. You guys saw live, live stuff. Here's, I'm making money here. Done over 800 grand on this account. Um, and this was their new setup. It had an older setup that had more money in it. We got this one here where you got this thing live, making money right in front of you, right? We got money with AdSense. I made like 205 grand with AdSense, which wasn't a lot, but it was part of what I was doing. So it was cool. Right. It's like 5% of my income, but it's cool. OK, um, so here we are. Blogs are rocking and rolling. Only one was hit by the latest Google update. I use paid traffic. I use free traffic, all kinds of traffic. And that blog that got hit by the Google update only made like three bucks a day anyway. So who really cared? The important part is to realize that you can make profits by creating simple blog in weird, simple little niches and let it do its thing. And you can just check on them from time to time. And guys, at the end of this, I'm going to go through my trigger word method, which you guys are going to love, right? Very, very important. Alan says, you were banned by Google. How did you get back in? Um, I use MSN and I have another Google account, which they're fine with. Okay, so you can clearly see that the blog I set up in 2009, this says 2010, but it was actually the end of 2009, is still ranking and I haven't even changed the default page. The Lotto site did $1,300 in just a few days. And it's crazy, right? This stuff works. And it's important to realize that there are many ways to get paid online, not just AdSense, ClickBank, and Amazon. You can get paid per click, per sale, for giving away a download, for getting people to fill out forms. Heck, I even got paid when people printed coupons online. I mean, how many of you guys think you get paid if someone's like, hey, I'm looking for a turkey. Here's five bucks off a turkey. Print this out. And they print it, and you're like, cool, I just got a dollar. How many of you guys think you can make money with that? Really cool. And you can see here, here's a Google screenshot, or not a Google, a screenshot of one of my accounts where we did over 800 grand. Um, I have lots of accounts like this. Most of them are over 100,000. Here's my AdSense screenshot, 201,000. I even made over 100 grand in referral revenue. Okay, this is important because people are like, dude, Marcus, yeah, that's fine, but how do your students do? And I actually made over 100,000, actually close to $200,000 off of affiliates. Right. And I get a two to five percent bonus based on what they do. So you could imagine what they earned. Right. Now, remember, these results are not typical and I have no idea what you will generate or what my average user generated because this is pretty new. Right. And I some people don't even tell me how well they do. Some do, some don't. So I want you to ask yourself. If I could set up a simple blog in about an hour 
and generate eight to twenty-seven dollars a day, how many simple blogs would I make? Just ask yourself that right now. And I want you to realize that some of my blogs make a lot more. But why shoot for the moon right off the bat? I'd rather give you a small, little attainable goal that you can pursue. Right? Rome wasn't built in a day, and my first sight didn't make that much. But with all the tools that I'm giving you today, I think you're going to have a huge head start, and I know you will. And I believe I can help you make this work. Now, in the past, for those that know me, my training was anywhere from $297 to $2,000 or more. Some private clients have paid like $20,000 a year to learn this business, which is still pretty good considering, you know, you buy a franchise for like 80 grand or 350 grand and it makes like 80 grand a year. And guess what? They still have to go to work. So this is a much better deal, even at my full price. Now, this is completely different. The economy has changed with the internet. And as I'm sure you've noticed, the new rich is all on the internet. People making apps, you got people making websites, bloggers, Facebookers, you name it. And it's never been easier for the little guys like us to get involved for mere pennies and make a decent living. And I'm going to show you how to make yourself the commodity by offering good information to people looking for help, entertainment, information, statistics, prices, downloads, you name it. And did you know that every 60 seconds, over 687,000 people search Google? Think about that. Every 60 seconds, 687,000 people search Google. That's over 10,000 per second. And the cool part, guys, listen to this. If you've got nothing up till now, listen to this. The cool part is that many of the top search terms, the ones looked up a lot, right? And I'll show you, I'll show you guys this here because I'm into live stuff. So let's go to Google Trends. Okay, watch this. So Google Trends, if you look at the top searches right now, it's very non-competitive. Okay, so we got Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2012. Okay, let's look this up on Google and see what the competition is. Okay, on paid search. No one. There's no one bidding. Nothing. There's like videos and images and stuff like that. You got Kate Middleton and Redskins and all this other stuff, right? Lots of different things people are searching for. The top things people are searching for, yet there's no competition. So the question isn't like, how do I find some niche? It's what do I do with the people that are searching, right? And just take a look at this because the cool part is many of the search terms, the ones looked up have no competition on the paid search side. And many are easy to rank for because most marketers don't know how to convert them to profit. Just take a look at the results from one of my trigger words, printable. Printable ruler, graph paper, bracket, 2012 calendar printable, Sudoku printable, and all this stuff. Tons of searches, look at the competition, very, very, very low. And I'm going to show you exactly how to profit with these words. Here's another one, versus about. We already went through the Bible one. So let's take a look about like versus about worry. All right, watch this. We'll do it live. Versus about. All right, and just to show you, we'll go to Offer Vault and we'll type in Bible. Okay. So versus about Christmas verses, so Christmas verse, Christmas is coming up. You got 60,000 people a month looking up Christmas verses, low competition. Bible verse of the day, 110,000 a month. Bible verses, 2.7 million a month. I mean, think about this. And you're getting paid $3.85 to give away a Bible. I mean, does anyone else besides me think that's insane? Like, is anyone else like, dude, like, really? Seriously? I, uh. I've been going around this all wrong. I think that's important. Now, Scott says something important. He says, the searches are broad, not exact. Now, for f uh, paid traffic, I always go broad. Okay, paid traffic, I go broad because with paid traffic, you're going to get Christmas verses, uh, you know, best Christmas verses, top Christmas verses, easy Christmas verses. So everything's contained. Now, if I was going for free search on just one term, then yes, I would use exact, but most of the time I'm using broad, right? Which still get quite a few people searching for that stuff. So that's what you want to look at. If you're doing paid search, go broad. Trust me. Don't pass go. Just, just trust me on that. Okay, so versus about. Now, what if I told you you could get paid $2.25 to 3 bucks every time someone downloads a free Bible from your blog? Do you think you'd be able to make money in this totally non-competitive market? Now, guys, here's the funny thing. 
we could do this all day long. I could do this webinar forever, right? And find tons of stuff. Many people are searching and so many marketers are busy fighting over keywords like weight loss, money, mortgage, and stuff that is so competitive and so, in it, so expensive that there's no way for us regular people to get out on the action. And like Michael says, he says, Marcus, I've heard from many marketers slash gurus that if nobody is paying for the Google ads, it's a clue that there's no money in the niche. So what you're saying doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Because people aren't looking at it in a different way. How many of you guys remember when you were a kid and you used to get the Sunday newspaper? Type Sunday in the box if you remember getting the Sunday newspaper. All right? Just type Sunday in the box and you got that newspaper and they had all the coupons and sometimes they'd have like a, a little sample of Advil or maybe a shampoo sample or whatever. Okay? Very important. So, so you got this stuff and you got these shampoos and these coupons and everything. Now I want to ask you, when you got that paper, did you spend any money with those companies that were advertising? Or, or even more so, when you watch your favorite TV show, do you spend money with the people advertising or are they just taking a gamble? Or are they just taking a gamble? Right? So you would look at that and you say, okay, well, let's say Dallas Cowboys. How many of you guys think that, you know, Bud Light advertises on the Cowboys game? So there's money there. How many of you guys are like, yeah, I think there's money in the Dallas Cowboys. Take, type in Cowboys, even though the team sucks. I mean, I didn't say that. For anyone in Texas, I apologize. I am a 49ers fan, but at any rate, okay, so Cowboys. Okay, so Dallas Cowboys. Now, if there's no competition for this word, how many of you guys think there's no money? Right, so we're going to go on Google. We're going to look for it and see if there's no money. Right. If there's no competition, according to what the other gurus say, there's no money. OK, so according to the other gurus, there's only one guy bidding, which means there's no money in this market. No money in this. There's nothing. Let's let's get out of football. You know, tell all the guys to retire, tell them all to quit. There's no money in football. Right. But if we do yeah, Dallas Cowboys annual earnings. I mean, come on, people. Seriously, there is a lot of money. Look at this. Like Tony Romo gets $9 million a year. His cap is at $18 million. So at least there's $18 million just for that one guy. Right? So how many of you guys are like, well, wait a minute. There's something someone didn't tell me. There's something here. Look at this. The annual revenue from the stadium in 2009 was... $350 million that there's no one bidding on it. No one bidding on it. What that means is there's a lot of freaking stupid marketers out there. <laughs> Can I say it that way? Is everyone cool with me saying it that way? There's a lot of stupid marketers out there. So how many of you guys are like, well, Marcus, that's fine and good, but I don't own the Dallas Cowboys. Marcus, I don't own the Dallas Cowboys. I can't make money with this. How many of you guys are thinking that? Right? But how do we make money? So let's go to the, the old uh, offer vault and let's type in sports. All right, watch this. So Dallas Cowboys, what do they want? They probably want to like watch football games and see Tony Romo throw the ball or whatever. I don't know. I'm too small to play football, but okay. So let's say you got paid $2 and 60 cents when someone downloaded like sports stats and pictures of Tony Romo and whatever they're into, right? Do you think you can make money? How many of you guys are like, yeah, I probably could. Eh, it kind of makes sense. Even though there's no one bidding on it, I think there's some money there. Well, here it is right here, right on Offer Vault. Of course you could. That's what I want to show you. Very important. So how many of you guys are like, dude, this is kind of a breath of fresh air. This makes sense. It works. I like it, right? but what are you getting at? So here's the thing. We could do this all day and all night, and I can find keywords all day and all night, and I could probably not sleep. Some nights I've been up and not slept because I've found so many words. So here's the deal. Everyone's looking for mortgage and you know, uh, weight loss and whatever, and they're not looking at stuff like calorie counter. 
How many of you guys are like, dude, calorie counter? Like, what does a guy looking up calorie counter want? He pretty much wants to lose weight, right? I mean, like, I don't count calories other than, like, beer calories because I want to lose weight. So calorie counter, well, watch this. Even in exact match, even in exact match, you got almost a half a million people searching for calorie counter. How many of you guys think this is competitive? How many of you guys are like, oh, yeah, Marcus, it's going to be like 50 bucks a click. Right? Check this out. Watch this. There's no competition. There's nothing. No one is bidding on this term. Right? No one's bidding on this term. Check out MSN. And Chris says, can you get to the good stuff? Chris, if you're not hearing any good stuff, you should probably leave this webinar because, dude, this is like how to make a living online, right? So, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't have any more tricks, but that's the deal, right? Here it is. Look at this. Uh, you got my food diary. You got ask.com, which is what we call a blanket bidder. A blanket bidder is like ask.com, Shopzilla, or whatever, and they bid on everything, right? They bid on everything. Very important. All right. That's what you do. And like Justin says, this is incredible. This is great stuff. You just focus for it. And Tim says, I've done a lot of courses. I've paid a lot for coaching and made no money. I watch you and I find a lot of what I learned from them is spent wrong. Big lies. I've been taken for right. Yeah, most people have. Right. Very, very, very important. So here's the deal. How many of you guys would rather write like some huge blog about how to lose weight or write some simple thing about like how to calculate calories? Very, very, very important. Rob says, why did Google have no listing and MSN did? Because MSN's not a pain in the ass like Google. I mean, I didn't say that out loud. Someone else came in here and said it, but MSN's a lot easier to, to get ranked with. Um, but that doesn't include the content network, which we get into in my course, which is cool. So here's the deal. As you guys know, I love sharing this stuff with you. I light up. I get happy. I love internet marketing. I love to hear stories of my students making profit in these niches, uh, like our buddy Alan or Andy, Andy, who's doing like 4700 bucks a month, his second month, which is cool, um, by giving away content that helps people, right? And my goal this year and next year is to have over 1,000 paid blog profit students on my webinars each week because I need an audience. I like talking to you guys. I like bouncing stuff off you, everything, right? I, I love it. It's fun. I, I totally dig marketing. Now, the, the uh, selfish side is that this is going to generate about $37,000 a month for me, which is cool. I like it. You know, 37 grand a month is pretty cool, but that makes it worth my time. And I'm sure that, you know, you don't have to take the load all by yourself. For me, it's fun to teach and it's a good discipline. Plus it forces me to t stay on top of new trends, learn new stuff, and teach you everything you need to be able to profit online with blogs. And that is why this is not my normal high dollar coaching club. As you guys saw, you know, we charge like two grand for coaching and stuff like that. What we're doing is we're creating a network of friends. You guys are all my friends. We go here. We're like, hey, dude, check out the Bible site. Yeah. Hey, check it out. This picture of the Bible works better than that picture of the Bible. Hey, cool. Let's all share it. Right. We're not here to copy each other. We're here to share. And we share ideas and we learn to profit online in a really cool way. And if I'm ever in it, where did I go with that? I'm even going to offer you live support from me personally, right? You guys can see on my sites, I always have a live chat button. The link I give you is going to have a live chat button. I'm there to look at your blogs. All I ask is that you keep the tech support stuff to the tech support guys. Only ask me the marketing stuff because that's the best use of my time. Just like you guys have the best use of your time. I, I want to I respect that in the way that you should with me. So, I even give you live support from me personally. That's right. I actually log on, log on to my live chat software that's in your members area for one to three hours a day. So if you see me there, come in and say hi, and I'll check out your site. So here's how it's going to work. Today, when you sign up, I'm going to give you instant downloadable access to three really important tools. Pay very close attention. Okay? Number one, you're going to get my blog profit network desktop. I'm going to fire it up here. I think I have it on this computer. I hope I do. Yeah, here we go. Cool. Um, the Blog Profit Network desktop is this here. This software takes you through everything. Okay, you go through here. You're like, I don't know how to build a site. I don't know how to find a niche. I don't know anything. You go here. You watch the video on niche finding. It shows you exactly how to do everything. 
the video shows you everything. And this is a beta version. That's why I get these pop-ups on this one. But it shows you everything, right? It goes through there. You watch the video. You click on the links. You get my trigger words. And guys, these trigger words make money, okay? They make money because watch this. I'll show you how they work. Okay, the trigger words go in there and they have like stuff like find, learn, understand, lower, higher, whatever. Hey guys, and they'll show you exactly video, show you. how everything works, right? So you have everything. It's all there. Niche finding, evaluating traffic, setting up a blog. If you don't know how to set up a blog, that's in there. Plugging in offers, making content. I know that's a big struggle for a lot of people. Everything like that. Okay, really cool stuff. So that's number one. That You get that as part of the blog profit network and let's see if we can get into our other, our other slide i don't know why this isn't coming up all right i'm going to close this and see if we can get into our other slide okay so that's number one you get the blog profit desktop it's got tons of videos tons of tools every the tools everything number two you get instant access to my seven day blog profits program so if you're new or having trouble trouble this is for you. Basically, what I did is I logged onto my computer for seven days. I built a blog. I found a niche. I got it ranked, everything. And by day seven, it made money. So you just model it, and you'll be able to get a blog up and running and hopefully making money in the same time period. I'm also hooking you up with all the 12 blog profit webinars, right? Keyword selection, domain stuff, everything to get you started. Like if you need to know anything about blogs, good stuff, right? It's all there. High profit conversion theme creation, everything. Now, how many of you guys are like, dude, Marcus said those little tools that you had in the webinar where like you have the drop down, you have the, the little clickers, all that stuff that made you money. Those are pretty cool. How many of you guys like that stuff? If you like it, say like or whatever. Okay, we're also going to give you that. Now, that's just the icing on the cake. You will also be getting a brand new live webinar each week. Every Wednesday, we have a webinar that goes through all this stuff. So if you're like, dude, Marcus, this webinar was pretty eye opening and you want this stuff every week, go for it. This is awesome, right? So you get the recordings, you get everything. And sometimes I throw in cool stuff and plugins and tools and software that I create just to have you guys test it. That's the deal. Very, very, very important. Uh, Byron, no, it's not the same as this webinar. Those are actual content webinars, so I don't have to sell stuff, right? So, um, so that's a cool thing. So uh, you might be saying, Marcus, that's all great, but I just want an easy way to get started. I want an easy way to make money. And that is all in there, too. I like to make everything easy and fun to go through. So you might actually have fun. I'm sorry if you guys have fun. I apologize for that. I know this is business and it's supposed to be not fun. But after all, that's why we got into this, right? We want to have fun and we don't have to have work and everything like that. Very important. So you might be saying, okay, Marcus, I'm in, but what's it going to cost? How many of you guys are like, what's it going to cost? Type cost in the box or whatever you think it's going to cost. You're like, dude, this has got to be like a thousand bucks or a million dollars or 50 bazillion dollars or whatever, right? So here's the deal. This is where you're really going to love me, right? Basically, because of the sheer numbers I'm expecting, I don't have to charge my normal fees of like two grand or more. So I'm going to let you in today for a one-time payment of 127. You get instant access to all these above stuff and more. And if you like the webinars and everything, just stick around. It's 37 bucks a month, right? So cool stuff. Now, what I want you guys to do while I take a quick break I want you to go to simplesitesbonus.com. I'm going to put that in your chat box, and I want you to sign up. Okay, let me see. Right. Yeah, is that in the chat box? So the good. That's in your chat box. Go sign up. I am going to give everyone on this webinar an awesome bonus. Okay? And like Kay says, if we need help ranking and getting conversions on the sites we already have, yes, this helps with that too. Just hop on there. Get on live chat. I'll give you guys a little tip. I'm usually on from 9 o'clock to about 12 o'clock. Uh, Pacific time in the morning. Okay, it's hit or miss. I'm not always on. We do have my assistant on and he'll help you as well. He's been trained by me personally, um, but I'm usually on like nine to 12. So if you want that, go there. And if you're still reading this or listening to this, there are spots left. We are capping this. So definitely go for it. All right. And the chat box should be simplesitesbonus.com or just type it in. Or let me see if I can. Yeah, it's in there. It should be in there. Do you guys see that? Simplesitesbonus.com. And I'm going to give you guys a killer, killer bonus. Um, okay, let me see if I can find it. Okay, I'm going to see if I can type it. I think this computer is the one 
All right, see if it's in the chat box there and get yourself signed up. And everyone who signs up right now is going to get a bonus that's worth more than the price that you pay for this course. So, and it's not one of those like, hey, sign up and I'm going to give you a jet airplane because no one gives you a jet airplane, right? Even though they, they think it, right? I'm going to give you something cool. So here's the deal. Let me ask everyone on this call, what is the number one problem you have making money online? I know it's not traffic. I know it's not building sites. It's one thing. It's conversion. Right? How many of you guys are like, yeah, if I can convert traffic, that would be the key. That's it. I want to show you something pretty cool. Right? On the Bible site that I have, uh, let's see. What is it? Read the Bible.me. I actually have a program that builds these ads. Okay, now I want you to follow this because I'm going to give you this program, which is really cool. Okay, it builds these ads based on images. You don't have to cut and paste the images. All you have to do is have the image somewhere, right? And it makes these images, and it also shows you what people want, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into one of my sites right now, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. If I can remember my password, that will help as well. Okay, so I want to show you what's behind the scenes. So here's one of my sites. Okay, you can see that I've had uh, 36, almost 37,000 people visit the site. Now, what I want to do, not only do you get that awesome picture of me to pop up on your blog, right? That is a bonus. It's probably worth more than the course itself. I'm joking. It's probably an eyesore. But at any rate, all right, we go into monetize your blog, which all these are plugins that you get as part of, our, of the course. So you're going to monetize. You click on manage or I think it's manage your options. Go to view ads. What happens is you see what people click on most. So not only are you making money, you're learning about your market. So right here, most people are looking for how to set up a blog. To me, that's important info because now I can help them. Right? Does everyone get that? And this plugin, which is $177 by itself, I'm giving you guys free. Now, for those of you that are like, yeah, Marcus, but I've heard the spiel, I know the deal, whatever. What we're doing is we're giving you a 60-day money-back guarantee because I really don't want to work with you if you don't think I can help you. Like, If you don't think I can help you, there's no sense signing up. But if you're like, Marcus, dude, you make money with Bible verses, I'm in, bro. I mean, I see it live. Here it is, right? You're making money with Bible verses right now. Look at these people right here. Here's seven people who got these Bible verses today. And you got paid for it. That's cool. Very, 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 very important. So simplesitesbonus.com. Let me go there for you. Simplesitesbonus.com. Okay. You can see here, this is a special offer for Offer Vault people. Offer for Offer Vault. That's a tough thing to say, right? Just click the Instant Access button. You'll get started. Basically, it is $127 up front and $37 a month. Very, very cheap. Very good. You get all the stuff that I mentioned today, plus more. Awesome stuff. So go there. So to recap, here's the deal. And frankly, if you can't see the value in what's being offered today, you're going to need a refund. You're going to need to go buy other stuff because I can't help you. But on the other hand, if you're totally serious about making this work and you're like, Marcus, I'm tired of buying thing after thing and trying to learn thing after thing and not getting it. But when you showed me today that you can make money in these simple little niches, something clicked and it worked. And I'm willing to give it a shot. So if you're serious and you want me to help you and answer your questions, guys, ask me questions. I like it. That's why I started it, right? And that's the deal. And don't let your membership ever expire because I can't promise that it's going to be this price or, or that we'll even take new members. So here's the deal. So here's the bonuses you're getting. Number one, seven-day blog profit software. You watch live as I take you through a new niche, turn it to profit. You get my exclusive niche market training that shows you how to spot profitable niches in seconds. You get the CPA marketing training, which shows you how to put the offers on your site, how to get accepted to CPA network. So if that's your struggle, get in now. Um, 12 WordPress webinars that cover all the tech stuff of WordPress. You get my blog tools, which are responsible for making me over 1.9 million in revenue. You get my blog profits desktop software uh, download that I showed you. you get to keep this forever. Even if you get a refund, I don't care. Go make money with it, whatever, but don't get a refund. You know, respect my time, ask questions. I'll help you. 
You get the secret trigger word list, the custom themes, the secrets of video blogging, rapid fire ClickBank profits course, plus you get live chat access. If you see this here, if it says check back soon, obviously I'm on a webinar, so I'm not on live chat, but I could show you exactly what it looks like. I'll show you here. I'll just log in so you can see. Uh, basically, if I log in here and you see this icon, so I want to show you what it looks like so that you can get in there and get support from me, right? When you log in and you refresh, it says I'm online now. Just click that and you can actually talk to me direct. Okay, so um, Michael says, okay, Marcus, what about getting accepted to CPA Networks? I guarantee you, if you sign up for this, I will get you accepted to one of my favorite CPA Networks. I guarantee that. Okay, same with you, Joseph. Um, if you want to get into a CPA network, sign up. I guarantee you acceptance. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So simplesitesbonus.com. Get yourself signed up. Any questions, let me know, and I will help you from there. But, guys, this is basically, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's like, obviously, you've been taught the wrong way, and you need to start learning how to do this the right way because I've made a lot of money here. I've learned how it works, and... I'm weird. I like to help people. So cool stuff. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. And we'll take it from there. All right. So let's see here. And guys, you have till uh, 8 o'clock p.m., which is 32 minutes from now, to get the free plugin. That is a plugin that, that shows you everything. Guys, you want this plugin. Trust me. Do not miss out on it. All right. So any other questions? Let me know. And we'll take it from there. All right. I'm going to pull up the questions. And where is the site on program to join? You want simplesitesbonus.com. This right here, simplesitesbonus.com. I'll put it in the chat box if you need it right there. And you can get signed up. Uh, Byron says, what time of day on Wednesday for the webinars? Usually one or it's 12 to 1 Pacific time. If you can't make them, don't worry. They're all recorded. And I'll show you the members area here. Uh, the members area is absolutely awesome. You guys are going to love it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the members area right here. Uh, Gary, yes, you can. Uh, Chris, just email us for the free plugin, and I'll help you find it. So here's one of the members areas, right? And you can see all the webinar replays. Uh, you got the CPA network list, which shows you how to get accepted to any CPA network. All of it is video oriented. Uh, it shows you how to rank for stuff, the webinar times, the trigger words, uh, support area if you need support. And everything has that support icon, right? So you'll see that. Um, I believe also, let's see, member, a member. I think we go here and it'll show you the main members area, right? So you got the bonuses, the member blog, the software, customer support, weekly webinars. Uh, the bonuses, everything's in there. So it's it's all there. Uh, all your plugins are down here. Everything. Guys, it's ridiculous. Okay, simplesitesbonus.com. Kay says, so do your simple sites rank page one for your keywords? Some do, right? We want to look at our traffic, not in terms of like, can we rank for it? But in terms of what's easy, right? So someone give me a, a niche that you think is uh, difficult to, to get traffic for. All right, give me a niche you think is difficult, and, and we'll show you how this works real time. Okay? Because I, I want you guys to get this. I want you guys to really understand what you're getting here. Okay, so, so um, okay, Valerie says dill pickles. Okay, now let me let you in on a little secret here. This is something people don't teach you. Google tells you what they want. Right, so what they want is Food Network, Epicurious, Wikipedia, uh, this here, images. So images are important, right? So what's the easiest way to get ranked for this? Well, it's images, right? If we do magic tricks, easiest way to get ranked is YouTube. I mean, YouTube, 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 right? Look at this, like this guy put his video up like less than a year ago. Watch how much traffic he gets. He's had a half of a million visitors, a half a million visitors. So what's the easiest way to get traffic, right? I'm not going to go there and I'm not going to put articles and I'm not going to, you know, uh, let's see how to get rid of this. I'm not going to make whatever. I'm going to go here. I'm going to latch on to his video because I could, I could literally put 
video response here. Be on his site now. How many of you guys want like results now rather than sitting around and, and messing around and being foolish, right? You're like, dude, I want results now. If you want them now, go sign up. I'll help you get them. SimpleSitesBonus.com. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am because uh, it is fun. Internet marketing rocks. Okay. Any other questions? Let me know. All right. Let's get some questions here. And I want tough questions. I want you guys to grill me. Michael says, Marcus, can you point us in the right direction to get some good outsourcing? I've had a lot of trouble with this in the past. Michael, yes, I will. But I will first ask you what you want outsourcing for. Because outsourcing in itself is not the be-all, end-all. Very important, right? It's not the be-all, end-all. It does help, but you need to know why you want it, right? Very, very important. Uh, Kay says, is your traffic mostly coming from pay-per-click? And if pay-per-click, how much do you spend each month on driving traffic? Um, I spend half of what I make on traffic, but it's not all pay-per-click. A lot of it's free traffic. So, yeah. Like if I if I make ten thousand dollars a month, I'm spending five to make that. So I like to, I like to keep it around that amount. Now I do have friends who make a lot more than me who have taught this business to, and they're cool with like spending a thousand to make two hundred a day. Which I mean, whatever, two hundred is two hundred, and and if they're cool with it, that's fine. I'm not that risky, so it's up to me. Uh, Dolly says I can't get in. I um, Dolly, you need to sign up first. Did you actually sign up? You want to sign up at um, blogprofitnetwork.com or, or, or that link there, simplesitesbonus.com. Okay, any other questions? Let me know. Uh, Justin says, when you say 200, you mean 200,000. No, um, he, he will spend 1,000 a day to make 200 a day. And, and it's a ratio. I mean, he'll spend 100,000 to make 2,000 or whatever, right? So the ratio is there. Um, and, you know, some people make a lot of money doing this. All right, Gilson, what is your question? I didn't get that. Please retype it. All right, Chris says he's in. We've got a lot of people signing up right now. Um, Justin says, how does it make sense to lose money? It doesn't. He's spending $1,000 to make $1,200, which is a $200 profit is what I meant to say. I hope I, hope I said it right. I don't know. Sometimes my mind is, is crazy, but that's how it works. It's 200 profit. So the $1,200. Okay. Does that make sense to everyone? I hope it does. And some people are cool with that. Um, I don't like risking that much. Um, sometimes I've risked as much as 100000 a month, but I only do it if I know I'm making money. Like I will start with $5. So if you're out there and you're like, I want to do this, but pay-per-click is expensive and whatever. Guys, we start with 5 bucks. Like the Bible site, I started with like $2 that day. So it's not like you have to have this huge, ridiculous reserve of money in the like vault you just start with what you start with i mean we're not out there we don't say oh you gotta have 10 grand or that's it right this isn't like a rich people club because obviously the rich people already have money and they really don't need to sign up with me but <laughs> you know um hopefully that makes sense all right guys so any other questions let me know okay gilson says cpa works for non-english languages yes it does my training is in english um, so if you don't understand English, get a translator, um, something, but if you understand this webinar, you're going to be fine. Okay. Um, Dolly says, I went to Google to sign in. Uh, you don't want to sign in at Google Dolly. Uh, me says are pay-per-click ads, your main traffic gen tool to push people to the offers. No, I use free traffic, paid traffic. Like check this out. Um, I actually have a YouTube channel that I started this, this year as a test. Um, and I only put like 20 videos or something. I think it's like 25 videos. We got 22,000 video views already this year in a market that's $5 a click. So that's like a hundred grand worth of free traffic. So you could get lots of traffic and do this stuff really easily. Uh, Renee says, do you have to buy traffic to make money? No, you don't. What I'm going to do as a bonus for everyone who signs up tonight I am going to give you a training, okay? This training is ridiculous. This is a, let me see if I can find it. Uh, it's under, where is it? I know I have it under like print or something. 
it's called the make your investment back fast. Now the make your invest make your investment back fast guide is based on my normal training course. That's 1200 bucks. So you're going to get a training course that's worth 10 times what you get today. Okay. And what this does is it shows you, let me wait till it comes up. And while we wait for this to come up, Eva says, does this work with Excite Pro? It does. I'm not a big fan, but if you like that, you can use it and it does work with it. Um, but I like blogs better. So I'll, I'll tell you what I like better. I'll tell you what I would do, but it's up to you to make the decision to say what you want to do, right? Because I don't want to force something down a market's throat. I want it to naturally happen. Bruce says, do you teach direct linking techniques as well as blog custom site making? Yes, I do. Okay, so this special bonus guide basically shows you how to make your money back fast. So like, how many of you guys would sit on your computer for three hours a day if you can make $300 every day? You'd be like, I'll log in, I'll pay for it, 300 bucks to do that, right? And I'll show you exactly how to do that with my following the market methods. Guys, it's all there, it's very cut and dry. And if you follow this, what I'll do, everyone who orders tonight, send me an email or let me know or whatever, and I will give you this guide and I will give you the videos that I'm actually making live about this guide. I'm actually updating it. Awesome stuff. It's worth its weight in gold. Um, if you're serious about this stuff, get in there um, because there's nothing else that you will ever find that's even close. So simplesitesbonus.com. Look for the live chat icon. Talk to me. Make it happen. We got 22 minutes left for the bonuses. The bonuses are the $177 plugin that tracks what your visitors do while you make money. These are the plugins I use on the Bible site that you saw, plugins I use on the MySpace site, plugins I use on the Lotto site. How many of you guys want to see the Lotto site? Eric Marcus, I heard about the Lotto site. I mean, can you show it to me, please? Right, how many of you guys are like, dude, show me the Lotto site? All right, check this out. Check this out. We have winning numbers.me. Here's the site, all right? And we'll wait for it to come up. So we have the lotto site. We've got some AdSense here. we got some little lotto balls. And we have the drop down. The drop down is responsible for making most of the money, right? If I go into my crazy egg, right? So we'll go into crazy egg. And I'll show you how all this stuff works. So don't freak out if you don't know what it is. Just sign up and I will help you make money. Don't pass go. Do not whatever, right? I'm going to help you with this stuff. So I'll log into my crazy egg and I'll show you how this plugin works and you're getting this plugin free along with other plugins okay so here we are logging in we'll go to the bible site here it is right here and we will go view results okay so the bible site you can see got five thousand clicks 300 or three thousand eight hundred and twelve visitors clicked on the ad you can see most of them are clicking on that box okay the rest of them are clicking on the other plugin, right? So these plugins get clicked because guys, if you don't get clicks, you're not going to make money. Check this out. We'll go to the winning numbers site. Uh, let's see this one here. Watch this. This one's awesome. Okay. So here we have the lotto site. Look at this. 2000 people came to the site, but 2,700 clicked to the offer. What are they clicking on? The plugin right there. Bam. That is where the money is made. If you want to make money, sign up, simplesitesbonus.com. Any other questions, let me know. All right, questions. Kevin says, can we start getting set up and making money by tomorrow night? I hope. I mean, I can't guarantee it. We're not like a genie, but I will help you. I'll tell you what. You get a niche, you use my niche videos. Come to me, say, Marcus, what do you think about this niche? I'll say, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Or, hey, that's good, right? I'll tell you honestly, because I'm here to help you. I'm not here to blow smoke up your skirt. That's not my style, right? I've made plenty of money without having to teach people. So get to me, tell me what you're doing. I will help you. There are ways to make money online very fast, and I will show you that. Now, how many of you guys are like, Marcus, I'm in but what about buying traffic? If I spend money on your course, how am I going to spend money on traffic? How many of you guys are like, how does that work? Right? If you're like that, say traffic money, right? 
How many of you guys are like traffic money? I need traffic money. What if I showed you how to get more money than you spend with me tonight in free traffic with Google, Yahoo, MSN, and more? How many of you guys would be like, dude, seriously? Like you're going to show me? Yeah, I spend $127 with you. I get 150 bucks worth of free traffic. Really? Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. So sign up, and I will show you how to get over $150 worth of free traffic. So you don't even have to spend more money. And Kay says, no money out of my pocket? Exactly. No money out of your pocket for traffic. Just get in there. Right? That's it. And I will show you exactly how this works. So simplesitesbonus.com. Get in there. Make it happen. Do not question. All right. Any other questions? Let me know. Okay. Joyce says, can you help get approved for CPA networks? Yes. Everyone who signs up, I guarantee, unless you're in like some state that banned affiliate marketing, which there aren't any, right? Um, I guarantee you acceptance to a CPA network. Michael says, after I sign up, which email do we use to get the special report? Um, just use Marcus at blogprofitnetwork.com or hit us up on live chat. Um, I'm going to put it in your members area anyway, uh, just for tonight. So if you guys need that, just go on tonight and I'll, I'll get that to you. Okay. Uh, Justin says, is it quicker to make money if you buy traffic? Yes and no. In my opinion, the quickest way is, is buying traffic, but there are other methods to making money quicker with traffic that already exists. So that's kind of a loaded question. I will answer that on one of the webinars in the members area. Uh, so Justin, remind me, after you sign up, get in there, ask me that question on the webinar. We'll go through it. You'll love it. That answers, it's way too much for right now. Um, MT says, what's the initial spend for your offer? 127 bucks. So simplesitesbonus.com, 127 bucks, 37 bucks a month. Done deal. Uh, Kevin says, I'm looking to sign up with Max Bounty and Neverblue. Can you get us these? Kevin, I guarantee I can get you on Max Bounty. Uh, I'm working with them. They know who my students are. They know what we're doing, everything like that. Uh, Michael says, when is the first webinar, Marcus? Well, if I put it up in time, we will have it tomorrow. Um, if not, it'll be next week, but hopefully tomorrow. So get in there, make it happen. Simplesitesbonus.com. Any other questions? I think we got uh, about 16 minutes left, uh, which you guys want to get in. I mean, this stuff is, is just real deal, right? Okay, so any other questions? And we will take it from there. I'll give a little bit longer for questions. What? Okay. Um, all right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a two-minute break. I will be right back with you. Um, and we will get started. If I can find my thing here. Okay, cool. Be right back in two minutes. Sign up, simplesitesbonus.com. Everyone who signs up on this webinar gets those bonuses and the plugins and everything. I'll be right back with you in two minutes. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys, so it's Marcus back with you. Any other questions, let me know, and we will fix you up. Um, good stuff. So, awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, type something in the box. Um, if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and sign up, and I'll get you guys those plugins and everything else, because this is the way to make money online. So, I'm going to take a couple last-minute questions here. Uh, John says, "How do I have, do I have to pay for hosting of my blog? Yes, you do. Uh, the hosting that we go through, you can host as many blogs as you want for nine bucks a month. So it's nine bucks. You can have a hundred blogs. You can have one blog, whatever. Still nine bucks. Awesome stuff. Kevin is signed up. Awesome. Uh, William says, is anyone there to reply to questions? No, I got to go serve dinner for my kids. Um, cause I am the designated cook here because my cooking kicks ass. But at any rate, um, we are there usually nine to five Pacific time in the morning. Uh, Dolly is signed up. She said she really enjoyed it. Uh, Pablo says, buying traffic, does that mean buying AdWords? Uh, not specifically. I mean, buying traffic is buying traffic, whether you uh, buy it with AdWords or MSN or whatever. Uh, Terry says, what plugins come with the course? A lot of them. Just sign up. I'll give you some cool plugins. They're worth way more than the cost of the course. It's ridiculous. Um, do I have to host on your host? No, you don't. You can host with whoever you want. Michael says, well, we have to be writing a lot of content. No, you don't. I mean, obviously, you see the... Uh, the lottery website, there's like no content. I mean, I think I have like a paragraph, if that, not even like two sentences, right? So, so not that much there. Does the software work on Mac? Yes, it does. We have an online version for the Mac guys. Um, MT says, need more time to think it over. No, you don't, MT. Just sign up. I mean, you want to make money? Sign up. You don't. There's nothing to think about. Uh, does the course provide WordPress themes? Yes, we do have some. Um, good stuff. Renee says, just using start here will guide me through each step. Yes, it will. All right. So, guys, we have, I'm going to leave this open for the next 30 minutes. So that'll go to what? 8.20 or 8.30 my time. So I'll leave it open for you guys for the bonuses. Sign up. Make it happen. Have fun. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this, this webinar as much as I enjoyed sharing with you. Derek says, is it 127 for everything or do you have upsells needed to make it work? There are no upsells. Uh, my upsell is $37 a month for my help. That's the upsell. So if you like my help, it's less than like two bucks a day or whatever, right? So that, that's the upsell. Um, from time to time, maybe we have some other coaching courses or whatever, but nothing is needed to make this work. Everything you need to make this work is in your members area, including my support. So we're here to help you. All right. Can I be an affiliate for your program? Yes, you can. After you sign up, just, you know, look for the affiliate stuff and we'll help you with that all right guys um let's see uh Kay says i thought the coaching contact comes with the basic membership yes it does uh from time to time we have like live coaching like in january um i have a live meeting in vegas which obviously for 127 bucks i would go broke if i invited everyone um but from time to time we have other stuff if you guys are interested uh, it's not like you have to do it to make it work um, I've had successful students with, you know, my basic stuff and my other stuff. Uh, where do we hear about the webinars? It's all emailed to you and it's in the members area. Um, so everything there. All right. So any other questions, let me know. We're going to wrap up here in just a few minutes and get you guys signed up. So simplesitesbonus.com. Guys, you have uh, about 30 minutes to sign up. So I will give you guys 30 minutes to get these bonuses, everything like that. And we will take it from there. All right. So uh, the email, just use the email that's in your thing or use your live chat or whatever. Um, awesome. So uh, yes, I do email marketing. I do teach you email marketing. All right. That gets me into another. See, you guys are going to keep me on here all night. Um, another bonus uh, that you guys get is on um, the Blog Profit Network. Uh, you're going to get the widget control plugin, which basically does email marketing. It does everything. Uh, you can see it here. It's called widget control. And what it does is like, if you want to do email marketing, see what it's doing is on blog profit network. Okay. What we want to do as bloggers is we want to control the content of our sites. Okay. So I want to have my opt-in box here with my videos. And if they click here, I have my opt-in box. If everything has the opt-in box, but if they want my other content, they get a whole new set of widgets. Okay, I'll go into the details of this later, but you'll see how it works. So like here, same blog, 
but I have the join widget and I have the cool free stuff. So Google sees all my stuff. Okay. I'll get into that later. That's a plugin. I charge 77 bucks for, uh, you guys are going to get it as well tonight. So sign up, simplesciencebonus.com, everything like that. Christine, send us an email. Um, we'll help you with that software. Uh, if you guys have any trouble with the software, just let us know. We're here to help. Uh, you guys have one half hour to sign up. SimpleSitesBonus.com. Sign up. I'll give you the bonuses. We'll have fun. We'll make money online together. Thanks again for listening, and I'll see you in the next webinar.